Hello friends, welcome back to this video of Romania YouTube channel. There was some inform important information that I wanted to share with you all. As you would have seen the intro video, our team just got bigger. Ashish Kumar of Enthralling Sudoku has joined the team. And also we have Kishore Kumar who has represented India at multiple world championships as part of the team. Our team just got bigger, so hopefully we'll be posting more content for you much more frequently than right now that we are able to do. And since Ashish already has his brand of enthralling Sudoku, we have decided to change the name of the channel to Enthralling Sudoku Maniacs. I know it's a bit mouthful, but then, well, what the heck. <laughs> Having said that, let's come on to the puzzle that we have for you today. Now this XV Sudoku was posted on my website yesterday. And just like any other puzzle that I post, the puzzles are easy, finding the start is hard. And quite a few people did come up to me requesting for a video on this. So before we jump into the puzzle, let's quickly run through the rules of the puzzle. Sudoku. The rules of classic Sudoku apply, which means that no digit can repeat in a row, column, or a 3x3 three three box. Any adjacent any two adjacent cells that add up to 5 are marked with a letter V between them. And if the two cells are summing up to 10, then they are marked with an X. And all possible X and Vs are marked. So what that means is, wherever there is no X or a V present, we cannot have the digits adding up to X, uh, sorry, 10 or a 5. Have I said that? I think on an earlier video of an XP Sudoku, I had pointed out that the best way to start is look for the Vs because we have only two combinations of digits that add up to V. That is 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. So when I look at this box, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. This also would be 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have a quad of this. So I know for sure in this row, I cannot have 1, 2, 3, or 4 anywhere. And this would be 6, 7, 8, but 9 would not be there because of this. So that eliminates the 1, which eliminates the 4. Oh, similarly, in this box, I have two Vs. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 9. Now I cannot have a 1 because it's adjacent to a 9 and there's no X. So if the 1 is out, this 4 goes out because this 4 would force a 1 in R5 series. Similarly, I cannot have a 1 here because that would force a 9 in R5 C7. And I can also not have a 2 because that would force an 8. So this has to be a 6 and a 7. And with this, I would have only a 1, 2 there and 3 and 4 would not be possible. So what next? Let's look at this V now. This again is a 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. But just like here, I can't have a 1 or 2 here because that would push a 8 or 9 into R5, C4. So that makes R5, C3 as a 3 and a 4 with this being 1 and 2. Now, when I look at this box, I have 1, to three cells that have an X, so I cannot definitely not have a 5 there. With the V, also I cannot have a 5. This cell is also part of an X, I cannot have a 5, so the only place a 5 can come here is here. And when I look at row 5, I have 9, 8, a pair of 6 and 7. This cell is part of an X, so I cannot have a 5 here. I cannot have a 5 here, so the only place for a 5 is here. And by classic rules, 5, 5, this becomes a 5 because R7 and R9C4 are both part of cells which have an X. I cannot have a 5 plus 5 adding up to 10. Now comes the crux. Apart from these 5, how do we break into the puzzle? Now, when I look at this 3, 4, let me mark it by the letter Q. All right. So if this is a Q, this 
W would be its counterpart adding up to 10. And this would be an E, this would be an R. The reason I'm saying is, I have a pair of 6 and 7. So if this is a 6, this would become a 4. With this being a 7, this would be a 3. In short, Q and R are mutually exclusive. Alright? So, how does that help us eliminate? Now let's look at the position of 4 in box 6. 4 can only be in R4C7 or R5C8. If it is in R5C8, it would automatically eliminate 4 from R5C3 due to the classic pseudo rules. But if 4 were to be in R4C7, that would make R5C7 as 6, which would push the 7 to R5C4 and R5C3 would be 3. So irrespective of what happens, this has to be a 3. Since we said the Q and R are mutually exclusive, if I have a 4 here, this would have to be a 3 and this also uh, eliminates the 4 from here. And I would not have any other place for the digit 4 in box 6. As this is a 3, this becomes a 2, this is my 7, 6, 4, 1, 2, and a 3. And with this 1, 2, 3, I know for sure 4, 1, 6. And suddenly the puzzle has opened up just like that. Now next one. Let's look at R1, C4. What are the possibilities? 1 is now possible. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that leaves me with an 8 and a 9. But with the X here, 8 and 9 would require 1 and a 2. But the 2 is already logged up in R1, C5 and 6. And this has to be a 1 and a 9. And for this 2, 3, this has to be a 7 and an 8. This 7 cannot be here. It cannot be in these 2 because that would require a 3, which is not possible because of this wheel. So this has to be my 7, 3 and a 2. This has to be 4, 6 because those 2 digits will add up to 10. That leaves me with an 8 here, 2 and a 3. Good enough? Now when I look at column 4, the missing digits are 3, 4 and 6. And with this X, this has to be a 4, 6, 4, 6, which pushes a 3 and a counterpart 7 here. Clear? So with this 4 and the 4 locked in row 6, this has to be a 4 by normal classic rules, which become, makes this a 6. 1 cannot be in these two. It cannot be beside this 4 because there is no V. So this has to be the place of 1. So the missing digits in this box are uh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 9. Now with this X I cannot have a 5 here. I also cannot have a 7 because that would make this 2 digits adding up to 10. So this has to be a 9 and a 1. So this becomes a 5, 7. And by classic rules, 9, 9, 9, with the next 1 and a 9. This again is a 1 because of the classic rules, 8. Now, in this box, again I have 5, 7 and 8 which are missing. 7 cannot be beside the 3 because I do not see any X. So this is a 7 that completes my row, 7. So this is a 5 and an 8, 5 and Good so far? Alright. And now, with the 1 gone here, this has to be a 2 and a 3. Right? And for this row, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Now, with the 5 and 8 locked in column 1, this is a 7. This becomes 5 and 8. And in the box, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 9 missing. So, with this 4 and 6, this is a 9. With a 1, I cannot have a 4 because there is no V, so this is a 6 and a 4. And that leaves me with 2, 3 and 8. With the 2, 3 here, this is an 8. This has to be a 2 for the X, 3. And I have 5, 7 and 9. With 7, 9, this is a 5. This 7 and 9 because of the 1s. I can't have a 9 here. So this 5 is there. This becomes an 8. This is a 5. Now for the column 1, 2, 3, 7 and 8. Oh, so this has to be 3, 7. 
with an 8 and this is 1, 2 and 4. So for this V it has to be 4 and a 1 with a 2. 2 is not here, 2 is not here, this is a 2, so this is an 8. This becomes a 4, 6. But with this 4, I have a 6, 4, 4, 6, 4 and a 6. And with this 2, 3 is not possible because we will require a V there. 7 and a 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a 9. So 6 and 9, so this is a 5. 6 and a 9, and you know why I limited the 9, right? Yeah, because of the 1. So the remaining digits here are 2, 8, and 7 for each. So 7, 7 classic rule 7, because it's 8, 2, 2, 3, 5, 8. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, by classic rules. Now everything will be by classic rules. 5, 9, and 6. And that was how this was supposed to be solved. Hope you enjoyed the video and the puzzle as well. If you did, please like and share the video with your friends. Let them also enjoy solving us with your clues. And if you are not subscribed to our channel as yet, I suggest you do that and click on the bell icon so that you are notified of new content as and when it is posted. So till the next time,